I'm going to test Gemini CLI versus Claude code in this video with the exact same prompt, creating basically this website here. This is what Claude code created in the past. To be honest with you, this was Claude code's output for what I'm about to do. I've already shown that Claude code can absolutely smash this, but I want to do a test between Claude code and Gemini to see which is faster, which is better, etc. So the first thing you need to know about these two things is that they work inside the terminal. Okay, if you are using Windows, I highly suggest that you use WSL. Use ChatGPT to help you get this installed. If you do need some extra help, um, then I show you how to get Claude Code set up here. Once you have Claude Code set up, right, uh, inside WSL, it's really easy on Mac, but just have ChatGPT run you through these steps as well. But basically, they are terminal based, and I'm using WSL, which is Linux inside Windows. So if I do exit here, this is just a normal Windows Windows terminal. If I write Claude, it doesn't work. If I go to WSL Ubuntu, do MKD Claude version, right? CD Claude version, and then I write Claude, you'll see that it loads, right? So what I did to install Gemini, I'll give you guys a little tip, okay? If you want to have a very, very easy way to install Gemini. Once you have Claude code installed, all you do is feed this right to Claude code and say install Gemini CLI for me and then paste this and then send it. And then in a couple of minutes, literally you will have the ability to do MKD Google version, CD Google version, and then just write Gemini here. Let's see if this works. Okay, it didn't work. The reason it didn't work is um, I didn't install it properly globally. So I have Gemini installed, but it's not global or something, not sure. So I'll paste this. So I'm actually glad that this didn't work because it means that I can actually show this in action, right? So hopefully Claude Code will help me fix this now so that when I write Gemini, I'll be able to uh, get it to work. So you can see it's doing uh, npm install, it, it did a Google version before, etc. So while that's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting ready to make these two um, things, right? So basically what I need to do is I need to start a new uh, Next.js project inside both of these. So again, on my school community, the school community is great, by the way, if you just need an easy place to find all my prompts, or if you just want to support me, or if you need a little bit more help with some of the more technical things. If you're a visual learner, like someone who learns from reading, it's definitely for you. And so yeah, definitely check it out. It'll be the first link in the description. Okay, so that should now work for it, Gemini. I guess it should now work. There we go. So let's just quit out for one second and quit out of Claude. So you can see I'm, I'm inside Claude version here and I'm inside Google version here. So we'll just send in this command, right? And we'll just put dot and then we'll do the same again once I've spammed enter, there we go. We'll do the same thing here and we'll put a dot, right? Once you learn terminal guys, honestly, you will never go back to, I, I don't use Visual Studio Code. I, I know that sounds stupid because I have five of them open. The only reason I use Visual Studio Code is to read the code myself if uh, there's some kind of error that needs fixing and it would probably be easier for me to just fix it myself. Or if I just need to see the, the layout structure myself or something like that, right? But general, or, or if I need to run certain commands. But generally speaking, if I'm using Docker, I probably won't have a version of the project open. So I've been working a lot recently on Grove, obviously, seogrove.ai. And you can see I haven't even opened Grovey Baby, which is my current locally running version of Grove. I haven't opened it in a while. So I'm not really using Visual Studio Code as much as I was anymore because I just prefer doing everything in the terminal. Once you learn like the basic MKD to create something, CD into that project, Claude or Gemini to open up a coding assistant, you don't really need anything else, honestly. So you sh we should see here now, if I go to Claude version, perfect. And then let's open Gemini version, or is it Google version? So we'll open up Google version here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the images 
from a previous project. So if I go here, public images, this is all part of my SOP. I do this every time. Uh, so this is Claude version. So we'll do new folder public. And then I guess I'll just copy this folder. So new folder images, double click, paste the images. And then I'll just copy the public folder into Google version. So Google version, there we go. And then that should be ready to go. So here we write Claude. And then here we write Gemini. Let's see. Okay, 2.5 Pro. Beautiful. And then Claude is ready. So now, final thing is we get the prompt again from the school community. This prompt is available online for free. You may have to just search for it uh, on YouTube. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the description of this video, uh, if, I, if I do remember. So all we do here is we just go for it, right? So there's no need to change anything, I don't think. I think they're clever enough to realize that uh, when actually I will just delete that. So we'll just open up a notepad here and just slightly change this prompt here by just removing this. Okay, there we go. And then there we go. I want this to be a fair test, right? So I'm going to try this out. We're going to put these side by side and see how they both do. I'm just going to tell one of them to use port like 3004 so that we can see them both at the same time. Um, Fuck, right, well, it's going here then. <laughs> Use port 304. Okay, there we go. So, now we see how this works, right? We see which one works better, etc. My experience, Claude Code is completely nuts. It's, it's cracked for this. Like, you can make a website for someone using this that you can sell for $500. You could make it in literally five minutes, right? That's what I did before. So, we'll see. The time now is... Uh, 4.54 p.m., obviously. <laughs> so we'll see how it does. So this is swat switched to Gemini Flash. I kind of don't want it to use Gemini Flash. Uh, okay, I can upgrade to the standard tier. Okay. Okay, let's see. How much does this cost? They never make this fucking easy, do they? I, I just So I need Gemini Code Assist Standard. Why do you not just make it easy? Like, I don't, like, why do you have to make, why do you have to go and make things so complicated, as Avril Lavigne once said? Very wise words from, from Avril Lavigne, I must say. It's like Google doesn't know what a normal human, or how a normal human thinks, or feels, or anything. It's crazy. How do I just... Can I just complete purchase now? One. One, five. Yeah, I agree to the fucking terms, mate. Just get on with it. Okay, so I didn't know this was possible. This is good. This means I can use some 2.5 Pro usage. Ah, or not. Wait, are you actually serious? The way to do this is to fucking have a .m. Bit. Oh my god. So the way to set this up, just so you know, is whatever folder you're in when you create your folder. So I create a Google version. You then have to create a .env and set your API key there. Bro, honestly, it's like these two are competing for the worst possible ideas on how to actually use a terminal CLI. Okay, so we'll dump this prompt back into it now that we're using Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then we'll leave them going. Claude is, I didn't let Claude go. That took 14 minutes, so we're at 5.10. We'll see how they both do from this point. Okay, this is actually pretty exciting, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see this. Like, Gemini is supposedly faster, um, but you can kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to try something with both of them. So I'm just going to press Escape once here, and I'm going to say, can you spin up multiple sub agents to hurry this up, right? And then I'd n I've never tried this inside Gemini, but let's uh, let's see what happens when we try it inside Gemini. I want to guess it doesn't work inside Gemini. Let's see. Okay, so you can see it didn't actually do it here, or did it? Let's see. 
Gemini's not really showing me what it's doing. You can see Claude again has managed to do it straight off the bat. First, I would create not participated. Okay, that's pretty nice. I'm very curious to see both of these. So this is now doing all of these tasks at once. Um, I'm not sure if Gemini is or if it's even able to or if it's just bullshitting me. Likelihood is it's bullshitting me, to be fair. Okay, damn. Uh, this is saying it's done, which is interesting. Claude is doing Claude things. <laughs> Being very, very good, but also a little bit buggy at the same time. I found that when it's doing this, making it full screen does help. So let's just see if that if that helps. Okay, so yeah, full screen is the way. So this is saying it's done. I mean, technically it is done in the sense that um, there should be something on localhost 3000. If I go here, not slash en. So let's see. Okay, something broke there. Yeah, okay, as you can see, it's broken. Um, yeah, I'm not really surprised, to be honest with you. I haven't had a great experience with Gemini doing this from the beginning. Okay, so a lot of people say, you know, this isn't a fair test, etc, etc. I've now done this test three times, okay? And Gemini has done the same thing every time, which is what you can see on the right, where it just kind of says that it's doing stuff. I'm not even sure it is doing stuff. I guess we could check. So if it's doing stuff, we should be able to see new things here that are coming, like, as, as I'm talking. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing that let's have a look it has a decent amount of stuff here but it's not like very complete i wouldn't say to be honest with you okay look guys i don't want people to like think i'm some kind of crazy anthropic fanboy but it seems like again what google have done is they've released something that on paper seems really really cool I have used it to edit existing projects and the 1 million context window does come in very handy, but they just haven't thought about things. For example, if you do not put your API key, you'll, it will switch. I'm not even sure it's working. Are you even working at all? It'll switch, but it won't pass on the information. So like it won't pass on the history to flash. So flash will start coding and it won't work. On the other hand, we have um, we have Claude Code, which is still fixing its own errors. It's still doing all that good stuff, right? Whereas this has just got stuck again. That's crazy, dude. I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. There's absolutely no reason to use Gemini CLI until they fix it, right? It's just not on the same level at all. By the time, like, th this is not even started yet, basically, and this has built me an entire website, right? So it's like, well, why would we even bother? Let's see if it's actually got anything to show for itself real quick. Okay, so it does redirect to ENGB, which is good. That's like not a terrible uh, issue. I mean, uh, not a terrible bit of progress, to be fair. Like, okay, so we do actually have something. Um, you know, it's not, it's not there, <laughs> obviously, but it's done something. Right, so it's it's uh, it it can actually code. Uh, it's just so frustrating. It's so hard to like even make videos about some of Google's products. They're so fucking bad. Like, it. I don't know. Maybe this is a Windows thing. It was working fine on my Mac, right? I don't really understand what's going on here. I don't know if it's coding or not. Okay, so yeah, you guys. I'll leave you guys to decide. This is what Claude did. Another completely perfect one-shot website with absolutely no issues. Everything has good. Um, you can read everything except maybe whatever that is. That might just be a white space, actually. Let's see if all the buttons work. So we'll press that. We'll press that. This works. Changed it to Italian. Uh, I can't press any of these for some reason. It's pretty nice little animation and stuff. But yeah, I mean, you can just kind of see the difference, right? Gemini is still doing Gemini things. I'm not even sure if it's even coding i'm gonna leave the video there guys i think it's pretty obvious which one's better thank you so much for watching if you're watching all the way to the end of the video you're an absolute legend i'll see you very very soon with some more content peace out